Hey guys, what is up? Tyler back again. This is a another video on a custom figure review by X39 Brick Customs. Here's his business card. I'll show it to you up close. Uh, yeah, pretty good business card. Here's like a little comparison. The only thing that's different is his is double glossed. It says glossy on both sides. Mine's not. But yeah. So it's Clone Trooper X39 on YouTube and Flickr, all that, email him down there, uh, his logo, which is pretty cool, nice name, so yeah, I'll just set that back there. Uh, going on to the review, this review is on his Russian soldier, he made a couple of them for uh, BrickCon this year, but he decided just to put them on his website, um, I picked up a couple, or not a couple. I was going to pick up a couple, I might pick up another one, but I would love to pick up a couple, because I love this figure, actually. Um, starting off, we have his dark tan printed pockets. Oh, I do like these. I have a pair in light gray, dark gray, and sand green laying around my collection. Uh, so yeah, I got some of those. Um... First weapon, he comes with a gunmetal M1911 pistol. Um, moving on, he has a pretty old uh, Johnny Thunder or a Venture set from like the 90s and early 2000s. Um, it's a really rare torso. Uh, some yellow hands. As you can see, it's a brown torso. It, has, it almost looks like a little, like, uh, I don't know, like a jacket kind of I don't know what to call that but it's very accurate in my opinion it's really nice he did a great job on that um, his face is pretty standard it is double sided I'll show you that in a second but he has a pretty standard facial expression nothing fancy a lot of people use that face for their Germans but I think it fits him quite well going on to the back um, he has there's no printing on the back of the legs no printing on the back of the torso no arm printing or any of that. Um, a double sided face. Uh, that face I don't really like, so don't recommend putting it on this face. But all right, he does have a gunmetal Yushanka. It would have been kind of cool if it was in black. I'm not too sure what's accurate, but he does come with that. Overall, this figure was in nine ninety five. I think I'm not too sure about that. Eight ninety five, I believe. But yeah, overall, I give this figure a. Four out of five. I think he could have done maybe some, like a better face, maybe. Maybe another weapon. And maybe some type of back printing. I'm not too sure. But definitely the face and the weapon. Uh, but overall, I definitely recommend picking this figure up. Yeah, it's pretty cheap. Um, he doesn't have a lot left, as you can see in his Brickon update number five, I think. He only had like four or five left so yeah anyway guys pick this figure up um hopefully you guys like this review please uh comment and subscribe watch up my or yeah watch my haul video that i did uh eight hundred dollars make sure you check that out i want that to be my most viewed video um but anyway guys subscribe if you have not comment i'll answer any questions really that you guys have I will reply, I'll say anything basically, so just comment, like this video, I'm trying to get all my videos to have 5 likes, like all my upcoming videos, hopefully I can hit that goal, but once again guys, subscribe, like, and see you guys later, bye.